Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, I'm an atheist, so of course I don't believe in the Bible or any other holy book. As far as I'm concerned, it's all mythology. But I love mythology. I mean, the, the Greek, Roman, the Norse myths, they're full of colorful characters, great heroes, great deeds, and crazy-ass gods. If you haven't read them, you should. They're fun. There's lots of sex in it, too, so it's a fun read. Well, let's take a look at the Christian myth, particularly the Christian creation myth. Now, you would think that God, being magic, would have created everything all at once, instantly, just poof, it's all there. But instead, God divided it into stages, six days. So on the first day, God creates the heavens and the earth. Now, that would seem to mean the universe. But uh, he leaves out the sun, the stars, the moon. They come later. So exactly what he created on the first day is kind of unclear. Uh, and uh, since there's no... Uh, I mean, did it, was it just a vacuum that he created? Was it just an empty space that he could put things in? Was it like a form? Maybe that was it. Uh, and then, but God, I guess, wasn't even sure of what he created because there wasn't any light. He couldn't see it. He got real tired of bumping into shit, so God creates light. Uh, and that takes care of the first day, although since there couldn't be a day until there was light, and, and actually, uh, since he hadn't created the, the universe, the planets and the stars and all that, other objects which you need in order to have there be time, uh, this first day is kind of a non-existent day. Uh, so on the second day, God does a couple of things. First of all, he separates the light from the darkness. Now, uh, since he still hasn't created any sources for the light, exactly what that light is, is it just ambient light, it's just hanging out anyway, but he separates it from the darkness, so you now have the dark and the light, and I guess they're in opposite corners, like in a boxing match. And uh, then he turns his attention towards the earth, which evidently it's all water, even the sky is made out of water. So God has to fix that. He, he divides that up. So he divides the darkness from the light, and he divides the water from the sky. But it isn't until the third day that he uh, divides the waters from the land, and he, he puts something there for people to stand on. Uh, so he puts down dry land and trees and plants and stuff. But he waits until the fourth day to make the sun and the moon and put the stars in the sky. So now, finally, we have a source of light, of the, of the light that was just hanging around before. Now we have a source for it. So he created the light before he created what created the light, which is uh, a little bit back asswards. Uh, if, if my narration of this myth seems a little bit disjointed it's not me it's I'm following the story here but the thing is I'm pointing out is that he creates all the land and he creates the plants and the trees and all that stuff and there is light for them but there's no source of light so exactly how they manage to get along without the sun uh, uh, is eh, it's a little strange, and, and also it would appear to me that there were three days that happened before there were any actual days. Now on the fifth day, God creates the fish and the birds and the animals, and I guess the bugs too, though it doesn't mention them. And by the way, we really could have done without the mosquitoes and the cockroaches. Just, I'm just saying. But it seems that he left some stuff out because on the sixth day, he creates more animals, like cattle and stuff like that. They didn't, hadn't gotten around to them. And finally, he gets around to creating man. He makes Adam. He creates one guy. Everything else is in pairs, but 
there's just one guy. Now, at first, the guy is too busy naming things to be bothered about all that, although I'm sure he noticed, hey, everybody else got a girl. What about fucking me? And you would think that this all-powerful and all-knowing God would have had some knowledge of the facts of life and created a woman right away. But that comes later. And instead of just making his making the woman out of nothing like he made everything else out of, no, he needs to, to do surgery on Adam. So he performs a bitchectomy, and essentially that's the creation story. We won't get into the whole fall of man thing and everything after that. So then God's done with all that stuff, and he rests. And... Um, uh, somehow or other gets decided that everybody has to rest one day a week and on a particular day of the week, although which particular day of the week the other religions kind of disagree with, uh, but he has to, he takes a rest and declares that everybody else has to rest and so one day a week everybody has to rest, although some people rest on Saturday, some people rest on Sunday, although nowadays we have the weekend so people kind of rest on both days, but I don't call uh, partying like a son of a bitch really resting so anyway that is the creation story now the thing about it is is that it's all broken and disjointed and that God didn't really plan out his creation it took him six days to do the stuff and he, it was, he kept just blundering through it and maybe that's why things have been going wrong ever since. Thanks for listening.